Taking a big turn now, there's some shaking for this week's junk or gem. Meredith Barrick got in on the action and she joins us to reveal whether or not a certain piece of exercise equipment is worth anything. Meredith. Hey, Ashley, sorry to disappoint. We didn't appraise a shake weight this week, but if you were born before 1970, you may remember vibrating belt machines. A lot of people do still own them, but it's some, is it something worth taking up space in your basement? I found out. I seen these on a commercial when I was younger. Yeah, um, um, women standing and them getting shaked violently <laughs> on TV. But that's about it. Matthew Nijaya paints for a living, and when a customer owed him a couple hundred dollars, he wound up with this instead. This was known as the Golden Touch Escasizer. What it was supposed to do, it was a vibrating, fat-reducing machine. Ricardo Paoli of Rick's Old Gold says it was supposed to create circulation, breaking down everything in your body, eventually leading to weight loss. But guess what? It didn't do any weight loss. It was bad for you is what they found out. <laughs> it lowered your digestive system, your internal reproductive kind of organs got jostled around. Uh, your digestive system actually got lowered as well as the abdominal cavity. Eventually, they were discontinued. What did you think it was worth? I was hoping for 500 bucks. Well, A new one goes for 12 and this is... Are you feeling very sensitive this morning? <laughs> I'm always sensitive. <laughs> this is junk. This is junk. Junk that's only worth $75, but still works. And yes, I had to give it a try. Wow. I'm pretty disappointed it's not worth $300. However, I did recoup $75. So it could have been a lot worse. Yeah. And Rick has a new exercise machine for his house. Well, the exerciser is pretty much the ultimate lazy person machine. But as you saw, I tried it and it did give me a good back massage. And here's the crazy thing. There are still companies that make them today. You can find them online and they are FDA approved. Man, Meredith, you are really going the extra mile as, uh, you know, for reporter participation by trying it out. Brave lady. Yeah, you don't crazy. see those around very no. much anymore. Oh. And there's good reason for that, yeah. I think. Yeah, I don't see the Princeton Club picking those up <laughs> no. anytime soon. <laughs> All right.